what residents of Lagos Island and traders at the popular Idumota market did to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The crying, depression, and the hunger is just a warning to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. If the needful is not done, he is going to be stoned. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu should not wait until he is stoned before he do the needful. Primates are your daily. The resident we are seen in a trending video telling President Tinubu in Yoruba language that they are hungry. Freight field on both sides of the road has seen in the video as the president convoy passed through the over busy market. The traders did not hail him. They insisted they kept talking instead. They instead kept talking of their pains, which they accused his administration of inflicting on them by the policies that did not fatter the poor and working class in the in the country. The complaining voices in the video we are heard saying the presidency had known the plans of the people, which was the reason for the heavy security. However, the the challenge initial plan was not made known. Sahara reporters reported on Thursday that President Bola Tinubu arrived in Lagos from Abuja ahead of the Christmas celebration. President Tinubu arrived at the presidential wing of the Matala Mohammed International Airport. Ikeja at 3.55 p.m. local time in Nigerian's presidential jet NAF-001. The president was welcomed by a crowd of supporters, including Governor Baba Jidi Sanwolu of Lagos State, his deputy, the secretary to the Lagos State government, the head of service, among others. The Lagos State All Progressive Congress, APC chieftains, led by their chairman and the members of the Governance, uh, governance Advisory Council, the State Executive Council, and the top government officials were also at the airport to receive the president. The leader of Irish Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elisha Hayodele has once again urged President Bola Tinubu to solve the economic hardship facing Nigerians. Primate Hayodele made this known in a statement signed and issued by his media aide on Thursday. He warned Tinubu to treat the economic situation of the country as top priority because it keeps getting worse by the day. The prophet stated that there will be massive protest if the president does not solve the problems. He made it known that people are hungry and salary earners can no longer sustain themselves with what they get. He urged President Tinubu not to wait till people start stoning him and every politician before realizing that he needs to get to work. Ayodele said, if Tinubu does not get to work immediately and find a way to solve our economic problems, there will be massive protests. The people are crying already. Salary earners are not satisfied and it will get to a state where governors will not be able to pay salaries again. Don't wait till they start stoning you and every politician before working. You need to do something now. There is serious hunger in the land. It will also affect some African nations. The president should do the needful. It will be recorded that during the release of his 2023 poly, uh, uh, prophecies, 2024 prophecies, please pardon me, primates, Ayodele recommended five solutions for President Tinubu to salvage the economic situation of the country. 
He said government of Nigeria must work on five things in 2024, which can make the country to be great. Number one, he said, stable light. He said the government should look you know, into the electricity in Nigeria. This stable light, it will help Nigeria to grow. It, they should improve the security and buy more weapons. Development of infrastructural facilities, agriculture. Then we have plenty of food and create employment. He said with this, things will, you know, be, uh, be easy for Nigerians. See, with what happened in Lagos, Nigerians can now say that uh, <laughs> this issue of governance should not be based on tri tribalism and religion. Because if anything is happening, it's going to happen to everybody in the country. You understand? Today, everybody is crying, you know, uh, for the high cost of living and all that. It's not only happening in the north or in the south, in the south-south or in the southeast, or only in the southwest. These things are happening everywhere in the country. That is why Nigerians have to be very careful. Do the needful. You understand? Do the needful. Let everybody drop this issue of tribalism and all that and fix the fact that Nigeria needs a good and competent leader. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.